Hello and thank you for joining me. This is the first in a series of videos that I'll be filming where I'm talking about my trip to Korea and what I'm doing to prep for that, things that I'm looking to take with me or services that I'm looking to try out. And a lot of this is actually stuff that you can look up and it'll be good for you for going to another country as well. Um, those of you who followed me for a while, you know that I'm real big on the fact that people need a good smartphone, especially if you're an international traveler. It'll translate for you, it'll interpret for you, it'll be your GPS, it'll be your still camera, it'll be your video camera. It'll just do a lot of things for you. So it's very important that you have one. And a lot of times people look at the specs of the camera, they look at a ton of information about the phone, but they don't really look up what frequencies it picks up and check what frequencies they'll be needing in another country. And that's where the site willmyphonework.net comes in handy. In my years in dealing with cell phones in the mobile phone industry, this is the site that I've recommended to people, whether they be military customers of mine or customers of mine that just love to travel or need to travel to go visit family. So the site is pretty simple to use and very straightforward. As I said, I'm going to South Korea. You can see here that my country is South Korea. The OnePlus 2 phone is a phone that I still own. It still works very well for me. The reason that I put this phone in is you have the submodel category here. And that's gonna be important if you're looking at older phones. Sometimes people see deals on Groupon for an unlocked phone and a lot of times if you're in the United States it's the Verizon phone. Um, Verizon for a long time put a lock code of 000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 so it had no lock code on it essentially. I believe they've stopped that practice but you are able to actually see what the submodel is when you're ordering certain phones and you would want to know what that submodel is because the reason that submodels were done is they had different frequencies in different areas. And so there may be certain LTE bands that are in a US model that are not in a European model. Or China could use totally different frequencies than everybody else in the world. So that's why if it's a phone like this, um, certain iPhones, certain Samsung phones, are the same way where there were different submodels. If you go to a newer phone, some of the newer phones do not have submodels, so it's just one phone with all the LTE bands available in it. So just know which model you're actually getting. If you want to check just one carrier, you have that option on here, but there's also an option for all carriers, so you can do a comparison and contrast. Once you do that, you're able to see everybody. So if I wanted to get the OnePlus 5T since it's sold unlocked already, then I can see EG SIM will not give me 4G LTE, which with Korea having some of the fastest in the internet in the world, I want at least 4G when I'm over there. So I would not get a deal with EG SIM. If I'm concerned about 2G for any reason, then LGU or SK Telecom would be the way that I would go. If I'm only concerned about data, I'm not really gonna be calling people, then someone like Link Korea might be an option as well. So it just shows you, if you get the phone, you can look at this and you can basically tell who you would consider getting service from. So if you're in the airport, yeah, EG7 has a great deal, but it won't get you the 4G that you want. SK Telecom may be a little bit more expensive, but at least you get 2G, 3G, and 4G internet. So these are just some important things that many people overlook, but will be vital on a trip overseas. Or if you're just looking to buy an unlocked phone and you want to know if it works in your own country, you can definitely do this for the United States or pretty much anywhere in the world. If you're curious about the list of countries that are on this website, you can see it's a pretty extensive list. So 
a lot of places in the world that you would travel to, you can actually use this website and it'll have as many carriers as they can get information from. You can see here in the United States, there are a ton of carriers. So if you do select all, you will have multiple pages that you need to look through. But again, this is a site that I've recommended to people for years, and it's one that I use myself, and I'll be using it before I purchase my next phone. And again, this website is willmyphonework.net. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, or if there's another site that you use when checking out a phone, we'll see if it'll work in another country. Let me know down below, and I'll be glad to do a review of that. Thanks again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with anybody who's in the market for a phone or who'll be going overseas sometime soon. Thanks, and I'll talk to you again.